I got a blue guitar, but I don't know where you are. You're so far away. Hi, this is Mark Chan, and yeah, I've got a blue guitar here, and I'm here to tell you about my new album called Blue Guitar. This this is the actual baby that restored my faith in my left hand. I had an accident and I couldn't play large size guitars, but one day I bumped into this half size children's guitar and I started playing a little bit again. And so the title track is inspired by this. The title track is inspired by just trying to find a way to make things work and to celebrate that. Me and my blue guitar. Okay, blue is a great word to sing, so, <laughs> you know. Blue also tells people that you're sad, you're down, but blue is also the colour of the sky. It's a song about overcoming, taking your time, but finding a way through tough times. And uh, when I came back to Singapore, in my broken state, my friends, my musicians, they, they rallied around and they told me, you maybe should just look at what you're really capable of doing really well now and we all remember your old songs you know they're all my peers they're about the same age as me so this is the reason why the album came about my friend said you know don't think about what you can't do there's still a lot you can do there's a whole generation in singapore and in the region that has never heard my early stuff i just had to trust that i could sing and do the songs justice i think as galadriel says in lord of the rings i passed the test and what you have is blue guitar. I wrote half new material, half old material. We re-recorded everything from scratch. And I wanted to do kind of a raw album where the voice is very close to the ear and close to the heart. I would say it's minimal, it's retro, and it's melodic. So it's easy listening, but it's also quite emotional. Mm -hmm. studio album I've made in my life and uh, it's been the most difficult. There are nine tracks in the album. Four of the tracks were produced by Jerry Montero, Singapore's most famous jazz musician. He's really internationally well known and uh, he's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful musician and uh, an old friend of mine. So, he produced four of those tracks, and those tracks were done live. For the other four songs, which were arranged by other people, three were done solely by George Leong, who does a lot of Taiwanese, Singapore, Chinese artists. That's his big forte. And he was one of the driving forces behind the album. He said, Mark, we just need to arrange simply and beautifully for your songs that will come across. So he played a lot, a lot of keyboards, sequence stuff, even uh, drum kits and things like that. I really have a lot of people to thank for this, uh, to, to achieve the kind of sound that we did. All things said, I'm really happy to that it's out, that people are listening to it, and I've got the chance to keep doing this kind of music. I know I'm not the man you want me to be, and I drip and I draw, and I feel and I fall, but I I'll come running when you need me, when you call, I'll be there. It's alright to be alone. It's alright. It's alright. Come to me, come to me, come. Come to me, come to me, come When you need a warm blanket